and roll it up. Take that log of aluminum foil and make it into a circular form. All right, we have our perfect egg shape, but we're gonna set this aside for just a second while we open our cinnamon rolls. Ah! Every time it gets me. Make sure that you save this icing because this is very important for later. Now we're gonna start to unravel. Yes, you heard me right. We're gonna unravel each of our cinnamon rolls. Now that we have our cinnamon roll pieces undone, we're gonna set those aside and bring our egg mold back in. Make sure you have some parchment paper down on your pan. We're gonna take our little pieces of cinnamon roll that we cut up and start layering them inside. So I'm gonna start with one at the top, a longer one, and we're just gonna do some strips and a beautiful design. This is perfect for like an Easter brunch or a, a girl's party, a shower. I made a couple of my own little mini swirls and we're gonna put those right in the middle just like this. This comes out so cute. I can't wait for you guys to see this. All right, we put our last one in the bottom here and we have our cute little Easter egg design. This is gonna go into the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. I can't wait to see how this comes out and how it holds its shape. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are gonna try this one. While that's in the oven, we are gonna prep our icing. We're just gonna split each container of icing into four cups. We have some blue, some green, some pink, and some yellow. All right, now we lift up our tin foil mold. And wow, look at that cute little Easter egg. It came out perfectly. So now we're gonna take our really pretty colors and we are gonna start to ice those little designs in there. Okay, and I'm gonna do my two small squirrels pink as well. These colors are so pretty. And like I said, this is perfect for like a pull apart, uh, like a pull apart dessert, a pull apart brunch dish. It honestly is so fun for parties. Everybody's going to love this, guys. So yellow. Oh, the yellow is so pretty. Now we're going to try to go every other strip here in blue. This is the part where you get to be artistic, guys. Who's artistic? Let me know in the comments if you guys love doing this kind of stuff or if you're like me and you're just winging it. Now I'm just gonna use my finger here and start spreading it out because it's really the easiest tool and it's the best tool that you can have in the kitchen, guys. And don't worry, I wash my hands so I don't get yelled at by everybody. But you're just gonna spread that out until you are happy with your design. All right, we painted our entire Easter egg and I think it came out really cute. This is also something so fun that you can do with your kids for Easter. I mean, I literally just finger painted my brunch dessert. Like it was so fun. Enjoy guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments.